father used to say that the greatness of the Raiders is in its future. Here come the Las Vegas Raiders. The team will officially move to our city. And around the fan, around the Valley, fans are celebrating the big announcement. We have team coverage for you tonight. Fox 5's Miguel Martinez Valle is live at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign where fans have gathered. But let's check in with Fox 5 Sports Director Kevin Bollinger and reporter Vince Sapienza. They're in Phoenix where the NFL owners met to vote on this big announcement. A lot of buzz out here in Phoenix all throughout the day as this vote and everything that mm -hmm. transpired after it progressed. This is a day that I think a lot of Las Vegans will look back at and say a day that majorly shifted the way that our city is viewed worldwide. Absolutely, and it was near unanimous, 31 yes votes. Just to give you an idea, when the St. Louis Rams relocated, they only got 30. And the vote came late this morning. That 31, the one vote leaked out before Commissioner Roger Goodell could get to the podium, but he soon made his way in front of the cameras, as did owner uh, of the Raiders, Mark Davis, as they announced that Las Vegas is now an NFL city. My father used to say that the greatness of the Raiders is in its future, and the opportunity to build a world-class stadium in the enter entertainment capital of the world is one opportunity that will give us an opportunity, give us the ability to uh, achieve that greatness. This is an important uh, step for us. Uh, it's an important step in trying to get stability for the for the Raiders long term. Now the NFL and the Raiders made a point to be a little subdued in everything today, out of respect to the fans in the Bay Area, who of course are going to be losing their NFL team. But you could tell for the people who we're here supporting the Raiders that you talked to absolutely. there was that excitement churning inside yeah absolutely obviously a lot of celebration back home but today wasn't just NFL owners or credentialed media but a few local fans made their way here just to be a part of the snapshot that is now a historic day for Raider Nation this is going to be the big boost for Las Vegas uh, probably something that Vegas hasn't seen in and probably well before the economy took a dump um, you know Bringing the NFL to Vegas is as big as getting uh, legalizing gambling back in the day, right? So uh, the, all we could do is build from this. You know, that's, this is this is split our fan base. I mean, there's a lot of fans that are really, really distraught with Mark. I really don't think he wanted to, but he was put in a position where it's upward and onward for him, you know? And I don't know. I mean, he got an opportunity and he had to take it. Now, again, as you just heard, Mixed emotions for not just for the fans, but for Mark Davis, who was very reserved in his podium press conference earlier today. But inside, you had to know he had to be excited. This is something that he has wanted for a long, long time to try and go for his dad's vision to actually end up in Las Vegas is something his dad wanted to do decades ago. We're looking forward to continuing our commitment to excellence and giving you coverage of the Raiders moving to Las Vegas. More live coverage tonight on Fox 5 News at 10 and 11 for now. Vince, Kevin. You guys in the studio. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you so much for your dedication, your amazing coverage today. Yeah, commitment to excellence right there with those two. <laughs> All right, well, the Raiders were instantly attracted to Las Vegas because the city plans on building them a $1.9 billion stadium. Yeah, the state already voted and passed that. And taxpayers in the form of a hotel tax will pay $750 million as part of that stadium. The new stadium will change the landscape of the Las Vegas Strip. It will have 65,000 seats, the likely location, the preferred location by the Raiders at Russell Road and Dean Martin. The Raiders will share the new stadium with the UNLV football team. And until the new stadium is built, the Raiders will use Sam Boyd Stadium when they are ready to move here. To make it happen, more seats will have to be added to bring capacity up to 40,000. Technology will be improved for TV and NFL communications, and the locker rooms would have to be expanded to include medical and equipment needs. We can't forget about parking, too. Sam Boyd would likely have to pave a dirt lot near the stadium to create an additional eight to 9,000 parking spots. Raiders fans, as you can imagine, in Las Vegas are over the moon and just thrilled with the team calling our city home. And today, dozens are out at the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign to celebrate. That's where we find Fox 5's Miguel Martinez. <laughs> and you see him holding his ear there because they're so loud with all their cheering. Miguel. I mean, I can barely hear. I acquired a hat. It's a party. It's a full-fledged party out here. They're welcoming the Raiders to Las Vegas at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. I, I call that poetic justice.
Texas. It just seems poetic the way that this is where they're welcoming them. And I've been talking to Raider fans all day. They say that this is truly a dream come true. All the Raiders fans honking and stuff. Look, you know what I mean? You can't help it. Are coming to Las Vegas, and Raider fans made sure to give them a true Vegas welcome. A lot of ups and downs about it, you know, if he's and whatnots, but all in through it came through, and we knew we were going to come here, and we're here now. Let's celebrate. And boy, is there a lot to celebrate. The journey to bring the Raiders to the Valley may not have been terribly long, but it definitely took a lot of hard work. Uh, well, you know, we've been after this for over a year and a half, uh, just dedicated to make sure that uh, today happened, and it did, and it happened in grand fashion, as it always does in Vegas. Raider fans nationwide say the move gives them another reason to visit the city. No matter, no matter where they go, I'll always be a Raider fan. We'll be here opening night. And local Vegas fans say having their own NFL team, it means new visitors, new jobs. It's truly a dream come true. Couldn't have picked a better time to live in Las Vegas than right now, this, this, uh, this moment in time. Hey, and now these kids, they're going to grow up with an NFL team right here in their own hometown, the Las Vegas Raiders. So, hey, they're excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. Raider Nation really came out to celebrate, and they're going to be celebrating all night. They're actually going to go down to Fremont Street in a few hours, and I'll be there tonight at 10 and 11, bringing you all of that Raiders excitement coming here in Las Vegas. Sending it back to you guys, Miguel Martinez via Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Wait, did he say he's excited? <laughs> yeah, we now know who our official Raiders reporter is. It's that guy right there. And he, as he said, he acquired a hat. He acquired a hat. <laughs> I love it. Well, all those fans with Miguel and all over the valley, they could hardly wait for the announcement. Some were up early this morning. Yeah, and the Legend Sports Bar is the place to be for Raider Nation, especially if they can't make it to the Strip. That's where we find Fox 5, Sharnay Amara, Sharnay. Yeah, well, fans tell me this is the official Raider Bar of Las Vegas, and I'm here with my new friends, and these are part of <laughs> Raider Nation. How are you guys feeling about this? Very good. Couldn't be better. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, Love it. yes, we are. Now, you were showing me something that all real fans have. we got to show you guys this. What is this? Got to have one of these. Definitely. you got to have one of those. Yeah, now, there's just a couple people here right now, but take a look at the scene earlier. Take a look at where, yeah. how many people were here earlier. <laughs> Now, as soon as I walked into the bar, everyone was really happy, very welcoming. Earlier, there was a crowd of about 20 people all decked out in Raider gear. They came to the bar hoping to hear their team, the Oakland Raiders, will be coming to Las Vegas. Some of them at the bar as early as 5 a.m. And, well, they got their wish. The news came down around 11, and the bar erupted in excitement. But one thing in everyone's mind was, when, what will the name will be? Will it be the Las Vegas Raiders, or will it be just the Vegas Raiders? We really want it to be the Las Vegas Raiders, the full Las Vegas name, and we're going to hopefully talk to Mark Davis about it and tell him that our feelings are to stick with Las Vegas. So don't drop the Las. Right. Keep it together, baby. Only with the Raiders! And again, all signs are pointing to the name being the Las Vegas Raiders. Even though it's not official yet, we do know the Oakland Raiders filed a trademark for that name. And you also, what kind of name would you like to hear? Sin City Raiders. Sin City Raiders. So That'd we have some different names yes. in the mix. But reporting now live here at Legends Bar, Sharnay Amaro, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, Sharnay, thank you. Well, having the Raiders here will have a big impact on our youth. It'll provide some new opportunities for future football stars. Yeah, well, we already have the Las Vegas Raiders here in Las Vegas. John Christine, how about these guys? These guys deserve some love. The 10 and under Las Vegas Raiders, or I guess I should say the Sin City Raiders. We'll hear from them after the break. And it's not just the football fans who are excited. Businesses are, too. How the Raiders will impact our local economy. Well, future football stars are excited about the Raiders. The team will have an impact on our youth football programs in the Valley as well. Fox 5's Adam Herbert is live at the All-American Park with a reaction from the young Raiders. Adam. Yeah, John Christine, we've already had the Las Vegas Raiders here in town for quite a while. We have the Las Vegas Raiders practicing right behind us, and we have the captain of the team right down here, Jesse, the quarterback. Jesse, you heard the news. You've been following it. What do you think? I think, um... I'm glad to be 
that the Raiders are coming, and I, I want to practice with them. And that I hope I get to meet all the players because I, I love all the players. Even the back of quarterbacks or anything. I just love them. So you're the quarterback of the team. You were telling me earlier just off camera, who's your favorite player and why? Um, Derek Carr. Why Derek Carr? Derek, I, I like Derek Carr because he's a quarterback and he's, he's a captain. And he, um, they listen to him and he tells them never to give up that they always can play no matter what even if they're behind or in front they have to keep on playing their hardest every every game even though they're losing that's good stuff and how's your team doing this year you guys doing well you keeping the team in check yeah um well we lost two games but we'll get back up all right well, I appreciate you taking the time. I'll let you get back to practice. That's the captain of the current Las Vegas Raiders, the Sin City Raiders. That's Jesse. He's keeping the team in check right here, and we're waiting for Derek Carr to get back here. We saw Derek Carr's message on Twitter earlier today. He's a little disappointed having to talk to all the Oakland fans, but you can tell that a lot of people are also excited to come right here to Las Vegas. A whole new fan base, a whole new group of kids to teach some valuable lessons to. John, Christine, we'll throw it back to you in the studio. All right, Adam, thank you. Well, thousands of local fans are pumped the Raiders are moving to town. And one of those fans has a special connection to the Raiders. Legendary Raiders of the 1970s like John Matuzak, Kenny Stabler, and Phil Villapiano were like uncles to Alonzo Thomas. That's because his late father, Skip Thomas, was number 26, one of the team's most physical cornerbacks from the Raiders' glory years. We're going to have any fights this week? Oh, oh man, we got to have some fights. In his six seasons with the Raiders, the only NFL team he ever played for, Skip Thomas was the king of the clothesline tackle. Although sports writers from other cities said his play was overrated, Raider Nation saw something different, an intimidating presence in the Raiders' backfield, so much so that he earned a nickname. Dr. Death? Dr. Death. Dr. Death. Oh, Dr. Death? Thomas was part of the Raiders' Soul Patrol, a secondary that relentlessly punished any opponent in their backfield. The Soul Patrol ruled the team and the league. Between 1970 and 1977, the Raiders won six division titles, an AFC championship, and a victory in Super Bowl XI. That mystique of the Raiders being the bad boys of, of football and, and just wanting to tear your head off and win the game at the same time is 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 always going to be what the Raiders are. This was given to me from uh, one of the super fans. We caught up with Skip's son and namesake Alonzo Skip Thomas IV at his Las Vegas home. They said uh, there was a lot of characters on this team and my dad was one of the biggest. My dad was a country boy. He had a dream. He wanted to play ball and that was his thing. What you've seen on camera wasn't my dad at home. My dad was a gentle giant, good guy, one to make you laugh. He was every guy's best friend. This one is special to me. This Alonzo travels to Oakland for all the home games. So what does it take to be a Raiders fan? For Alonzo, it meant sticking by them, even as the team went through a long drought of losing seasons and all but four years this century. To walk into that stadium and to have that feeling that we were going to win even when we were terrible, to stick by a team it's the loyalty it's the commitment to excellence it's al davis it's the shot that he gave people like my father alonzo has mixed feelings about the raiders move to las vegas every year he hosts a skip thomas tailgate tribute outside oakland stadium fans still dress as dr death Alonzo says while Las Vegas deserves a team, Raiders team owner Mark Davis should not turn his back on that loyalty. I don't blame you. There's people that are there in the Bay Area that will hurt from this. To Raiders fans, Skip Thomas and the Soul Patrol were the epitome of what the team should be. Tough, just this side of dirty, and supremely confident. The autumn win is a Raider pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Get ready, Las Vegas. You'll be hearing the autumn wind. It's the unofficial anthem and Raider Nation hopes it'll be the soundtrack of a kick-ass time in their new Las Vegas home.
Skip Thomas passed away from a heart attack in 2011 at the age of 61. Alonzo keeps his father's memory alive by running the Silver and Black Alliance. The organization picks a family in need every season and makes sure they don't have to go without. Now, Fox 5 weather 24-7. Well, it's the spring wind that has returned again. It's going to be the story tonight, and it also brought in a few scattered showers earlier today. This is how the morning looked, and I started this just after the noon hour looking west. Shower blossoming over the West Valley, moved over the stratosphere, then moved over the East Valley, actually developed into an isolated thunderstorm with a little small hail around Green Valley, portions of Henderson, and now the shower is really starting to wind down for us this evening. We've got a few drops of rain, up 95, also over the Sheep Range, seeing a few showers blossoming, really falling apart as it hits some drier air toward the valley floor. So all around, we're drying things out tonight, taking the wider shot. A few showers to the north and to the south of Las Vegas. If you're heading I-15 south into Southern California, you'll hit a little rain as you get toward Baker tonight. But overall, showers are tapering off, but the wind is just beginning. It's going to be gusty overnight tonight through the morning tomorrow. A wind advisory with the wind coming in out of the northwest, the same direction the Raiders are moving here to Las Vegas. Gust to 45 miles per hour overnight tonight. Live look, some sun working out. Temperature at 70 degrees right now. Very dry air at the surface. And that's the direction we'll go tomorrow. Lots of sunshine on the way. And a chilly start tomorrow morning. Upper 40s, low 50s. But you factor in that north wind, it's going to feel a little cooler. So certainly the heavier jacket as you get the kids out to school tomorrow, as you get out to work, you're going to need it. But this storm is pulling off to the east. Tomorrow with that north wind, drier wind for us, we'll see a lot of sunshine tomorrow with high temperatures in the mid to low 70s. So here's our neighborhood highs. 74 for Nellis Air Force Base. 74 for Boulder City, 75 Green Valley, 51 on the mountain tomorrow. Perup, you're checking in with a high of 73, same score for Mesquite, 66 in Kingman, and 79 degrees in Laughlin. Your Fox 5 7 day forecast, breaking the wind, more sun on Wednesday at 79 degrees. Then look at Thursday, 84. We'll see a strong southerly wind start to pick up Thursday. Another system Thursday night into Friday morning. This one will bring some very strong wind, chance of a few scattered showers into Friday morning. Weekend is looking calmer, just a little breezy at times with 76 on Saturday and the big 8-0 on Sunday. Back to the 80s. Yep. Up and down. Yeah, 80s, then low 70s. It's a little roller coaster ride yeah. there in that seven day. Every day just seems to be trending warmer and warmer, doesn't it? Yep. But All the right. 70s are good. We like that. Yeah, it's kind of in that comfort zone. So. Thanks, Sam. Thank guys. Raiders merchandise already flying off the racks. And those sales are expected to equal a nice boost for the economy. How are local stores handling the rush? Well, it's not just Raider fans excited about the move. Now, local leaders say this is a big step for Southern Nevada. What a great day. The only place in the world to be is Las Vegas, Nevada. Local leaders, you just heard from the mayor, Carolyn Goodman there, say this excitement is the product of years of work, negotiations. They say this will provide thousands of jobs and push Las Vegas' brand even farther. But even though the vote is in and the relocation approved, there's still work to do before the move can happen. Say we've got a lot of work left to do, and I'm committed to seeing this all the way through till we uh, have the coin toss on that first game in 2020. And uh, we've got a timeline, aggressive timeline, 32 months to build a stadium. And for that to happen means we've got to get shovels in the ground by December, January at the very latest. The Stadium Authority Board has to decide on a site for the $1.9 billion stadium as well. Sports stores say they've already been seeing a spike in sales ever since the announcement was made this morning. Everything from hats, jerseys, t-shirts, and flags have been flying off the shelves. Although uniform sports store owner Bruce says the most popular item has been car decals because everyone wants to show off their black and silver pride right away. Bruce also says there's been an increase in online pre-orders. Already we've seen a huge impact with the one pro team coming to town. Uh, we've seen increase in sales just because of our new hockey team. I think it'll probably double what hockey's doing for us. Um, I see it very strong for the, the Vegas market, plus I feel it strong for everyone in town on top of real estate and everything else that goes along with it. And the store says they're ordering more merchandise to make sure they keep up with demand. Well, for those of you who are ready to embrace Raider Nation, there are fan clubs all over the country. They are called Oakland Raiders Booster Clubs. Nevada has two chapters of the official club, one in Las Vegas, the other in Carson City. The Las Vegas club is called Las Vegas Raider Nation. Once the team comes here, though, there will be a lot of fun for the kids. The team offers junior training camps, holiday parties, and a rookie zone for its youngest fans. We have many more details on the links page of our website. Just head over to fox5vegas.com.
Coming up, you can hear the Raiders anthem all around the valley today. Yeah, because here at Fox 5, we have it playing. We'll have more from the Del Sol Academy Orchestra playing the Raiders anthem. And coming up next on More Access, the Cinema Town Celebrity Takeover is now in full effect. Not only will we be looking at the huge releases and stars headed to town, but we relive <laughs> some of our favorite moments from Cinema Cons of the years past. That's right. And Elton John celebrates his 70th birthday in style. We'll show you which A-listers help wish the headliner a very happy 7-0. And why hometown hero Chris Bryant and world champ Chicago Cubs came to town. I've got a little bit of everything. I mean, it's an exciting day for football, for our city, for movies. We'll have it all next at 6 30. It's pretty outside again, and I have some guests with me Sam, John, Christine, and we're about ready to hear Autumn yeah, Wind by the Del right. Academy Band. They sound terrific. They do. Let's uh, take it away. It's the battle hymn of the Raiders. Uh -huh. 